Anna Dabrowski or Finnebar is over here doing a demo and we're gonna go in and watch her do amazing things on her little piece right here. So let's see what she's gonna get into. So I've been watching Anna forever and she does just amazing work and so here she is actually doing her thing and I'm just in awe. But for the moonlight we need to have light. So this is the black dress of stars. So what are you making? I just show how you make a tiny little cluster of embellishments. Very cool. With a heavy body gel to glue it together. Okay. And just sort of prime it. Okay. I'm going to dry it now. And then we're going to brush some of the wax on the top to show you how you can make this moonlight effect I have on my collage that is in the booth. Very cool. You need to dry the just so until it's permanent, which means it has to get much. So sometimes if it's a thick consistency, because I put too much, you have to dry a little bit longer, right? Yeah, so here I'm just spread it to pretend it is thinner. Right? So you can see more or less the technique is not complicated, just planning and making things together. Um, I always try to suggest people in the classes to start with the bigger, more important elements first, so they have put them in the place they want to have them, and fill the spaces in the composition with smaller bits. So if you make a statement piece somewhere in one corner, you surround it with smaller elements, and then you think about balancing that in the opposite corner. So it is all, it's not important to fill the whole canvas with elements, because then it's hard to find the focal point. It's more about finding the right composition. So let me check with my finger if it's dry. <laughs> Uh, almost, one more moment. And then I was trying to explain if you can um, use waxes this way, like here. You can either brush them com uh, completely, having the full coverage, and or you can use them for highlights only. So, so if you, can, you can use your brush with this? Exactly. So I have some brushes here. They're not clean anymore, but we'll, we'll go with it, of course. So. Let's try to get this moonlight effect you liked. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Cleaning that to get rid of the copper now. <laughs> this is my uh, day 38 from so it's okay. <laughs> I just tend to use my pant legs sometimes. I'm like, oh! You can see a little bit of wax goes a really long way. So you don't really have to use a lot. Yeah, I'm saying. In fact, you can use it. For this coverage in blue, I was having a tiny bit of the wax and I used antique brilliance, which is brown undertone with the blue on the top. Um, I had a sample to show you how it works. You can see this brown wax with the sparkle. So this is the same family of waxes. Okay. Or this. So it gives you the vintage effect on white, but on the black is going to be the full coverage. Take a little bit clean it off so it's not too much hopefully it's going to be mostly blue now <laughs> okay. and you can just rub and just try to be careful because this just so in some places is still wet but you know what I mean I try to show you that you can go in the detail so the same wax here it's not blue at all it's brown you mean you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Brown undertone with the shimmer. So you have in one pot you have two effects. This one may give is going to give you antique finish with a tiny bit of sparkle, and then here it's going to give you this blue. So what if you did it on blue? What if you had like it's a blue going to be undertone? In between. Okay. It's going to be some, because, or if you, you put know, it on a brown, so uh, again in between again. Exactly. It is brown color, mm -hmm. so on the black you don't see it, right? You will only see the iridescent sparkle. If it's like mid-tone, you'll be getting like half of the blue, half of the brown. It's going to be quite interesting to see what happens depending okay. on the color surface. So the most dramatic effect, of course, goes on black or right. on white because this is like the biggest you know, color change. The biggest color right. change. So let's say I did it the way I wanted. I, ha I just like it very much, right? On the, if you work on fabric, you will also see the texture of the fabric in this moment because it's going to help. And then you want to get to the, another color that is going to give you the highlights. So you can pick other one from the same palette. So for example, red amber would be this on the top, which is quite pretty, just to show you. Oh, this, beautiful. Right? Or if we're going to talk about moonlight, maybe metallics in white gold and silver. 
and then instead of using the brush, you can use your finger, and I use my hand as a palette to make it really, really delicate, and then you just add the highlights, and then you can combine the other color in. And do you feel like you have to seal this when it's all said and done? Yes. Yeah. It's going to, you don't have to seal it. It's going to seal itself. It's going to seal itself. Okay. How long so does it take to completely 20 dry? 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, that's minutes. not bad. It is wax similar to the furniture wax. Okay. So I would say similar time for getting that completely dry. So you can see you can always take it on the outside to create this shine. So that will be, for example, one of the collage techniques you can use yeah, without any cool. paint in it, really. Right, well, right. We get this so much better when you showed us to do it on your hand than just taking it out. The because people are, it's hard to decide, you know, you're used to paint. Paint is wet and it sticks really. And here, because it's so rich, right. if you're going to just go like this, this, you'll have blobs. There was a lady so, next to me dipping every little part. <laughs> I, I, I had one scoop and it did the whole thing. The thing is, yeah, because and your hand is warm, so it keeps warming up the wax also, so it's easier to control how you really apply and how much you raise And you can see, even with just so I made these tiny textures we didn't see before, but mm -hmm. they show up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. So that would be one of the ways you can make effects like that. Other ways, of course, using acrylic paint. So you prime your project, maybe clear dress or white dress or black dress, and then you can simply paint them with a brush using acrylic paints of different kinds and then on the top of the acrylic coat you can use wax or you can use other acrylic similar way as I did here but instead of using finger you can just take the bigger flat brush you dip it a little bit clean off a lot so it's like almost dry and instead of rubbing with finger you just dry brush and add this uh, shiny effect it's a little bit more challenging for people who are not that used to painting, of yeah. course. Yeah. This is like, uh, I can't imagine doing that wrong. Really. Yeah, yeah so, it's finger painting. It's back yeah, to elementary school. And you it's bringing back our childhood. Really, you feel the <laughs> texture you are touching, so you know where you are really going. So I was hoping this product will encourage people who are afraid of painting to really play more because they have the control. Yeah. Right. So the other aspects, of course, it's also giving you this kind of permanent finish on the top, so it's uh, good for the home decor pieces or the pieces that people touch a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's like similar to acrylic paint. You can feel that this is finished, right? You don't have to really varnish acrylic paint every time when you do something, especially if it's not just more for decoration than uh, putting that in your pocket constantly. Right. So that would be similar kind of finish. When it is dry, it's going to give you this feeling. And I was uh, trying to show on one of the samples I made before, that you can't really rub it off. I'm not sure if this one is dry already. No, it is not. I just made it. Well, um, thank you so much. You have amazing work. I've always loved watching everything that you do.